Okay, so let's um, let's get to fifteen point uh, two in Rogowski. So this is on integration over you know, more complicated regions than uh, than just uh, rectangles because well we do not uh, live in Minecraft or living in uh, in the real world and things are have more complicated shapes than uh, than rectangles and, and boxes and all that so how do we uh, how do we integrate over something more complicated well the first thing is, is we have to describe more complicated regions um, in calculus one we had just one variable the region was very simple it, it was always an interval it was from a to b right it's hard to on the real line it's hard to think of a more complicated shape but uh, in in the plane i might have something you know some some complicated uh, we call it d right this 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 uh, region uh, in the plane and how would we integrate over something like that you know maybe we'd want to you know, one of the things that you can use is to find area uh, one of the things that um, that you want to do is uh, uh, <coughs> maybe has different density at different points and you want to find the uh, the weight or the mass of this um, uh, of, of some 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 plate, um, or maybe you want to compute the total charge on a charged plate. Uh, there's lots of different applications for this, but how would we do it? How would we integrate? If we have a function defined on this domain, how do we integrate over it? And the way it's done is that uh, let's see, maybe I <laughs> didn't draw it too well, but. Uh, we stick it in a large rectangle, right? So we have F defined on D. Uh, we have a large rectangle, and we're gonna define F tilde, or well, you can call it anything you want, uh, of X Y. Well, we're gonna define it in two different ways. Either we find it as f of x y if uh, x y is in d, right? And otherwise we'll just define it uh, zero. So else. So now we've defined uh, a function for all x and y, right? And then we say we're gonna basically do this as a definition. Uh, the in double integral over d of uh, of f x y da we're just going to say well this is the same thing as uh, the integral of f tilde right so what we're doing really is uh, um, if you if you cut up and sort of this figure so is already cut up into little uh, little rectangles right uh, so then if you uh, in in each one of these little rectangles right uh, just like before if we if we want to do this um, real on some business right and we pick a point uh, Uh, well, I should just pick one point in each rectangle. Uh, so I'm going to pick that one. Uh, uh, there's a lot of rectangles. Alright. Pick a point in each rectangle. Uh, but then I just do the Riemann sum just over the rectangles that are in D. Right? So, uh, well, just over the, the point. So this one is not in there. So I do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't do this one. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't do this one, this one, this one. Right. I just look at the points that happen to have fallen in D, and I sum the function over those. So, so that's the way that we would uh, deal with it um, in terms of 
the definition. Now, of course, that's not the way that um, if we have a nice formula, that's not the way that um, that we would compute this uh, this this integral. Um, that that might be a, a good way to uh, to evaluate uh, that, right? So, for example, you know, the, the simplest application is that the area of D is the integral of over D of 1. I mean, this is similar to uh, uh, to uh, the length of an interval uh, in one variable, right? In, in calculus 1 being, well, is the, you know, the integral from A to B of 1 dx, right? Uh, that was just the length of the interval, right? Except, you know, there it it's uh you know you would you would never compute the length of an interval by actually computing an integral but here i mean the area i mean it's just you know we don't just subtract two numbers right i mean it might be something complicated so it's this integral so for example to to estimate uh the, the area what you could do is you could uh, stick in a very fine grid right then pick random points in each of those bits right and then uh, see how many points uh, actually hit inside the uh, you know this 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 region D that we're interested in, and uh, sum up all of those, and uh, you know basically figure out how many of those uh, uh, do we have, and estimate the area of D by by summing up the areas of these little rectangles, right? I mean if they're all the same area, you just multiply the the area of, of, of uh, some little rectangle uh, times the number of number of little rec rectangles that, that happen to intersect uh, D in the right way. Now, again, that's that would be what a you know what you would do maybe on a computer if you couldn't do any calculus, right? Now, if we do have some nice description of D, maybe our nicer ways to do that than, uh, than sort of this, uh, this approximation, right? Um, you know, something that we could compute exactly and not just get uh, approximate values. Um, all right. Well, how do we, uh, how do we do that? Well, we can do it for certain, uh, uh, certain regions. So, uh, we'll say that D is uh, uh, vertically simple if uh, it is described by uh, should be another uh, if it is described by uh, basically we have that uh, x is between two values, so x is in some integral, and uh, y is actually between two functions. Um, right, let's call them alpha and beta. All right. Now, if a region is vertically simple. Uh, then we have that the integral over D of f of x, y, the a. Well, there is a way to do this as a uh, as a uh, as an iterated integral. Basically, again, it's uh, it's the region between two. You know, this is the graph of. Uh, uh, beta, and this is the graph of alpha, alpha, and D is this uh, region in between where X uh, goes from A to B, and uh, what we can do is we can stick it in this sort of some some rectangle R, right, and we'll let uh, X we'll put x on the outside uh, y on the inside we're going to be integrating f we're going to let x go from a to b 
but now y when we're integrating along you know for fixed x as we're integrating along uh, this 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 vertical line uh, you know, we're basically fixing x right so we're inside here and uh, we'd want to integrate this this function really integrating this f tilde from you know from some number over here to some number over here but it doesn't really matter what you know uh, uh, where we start because this it's zero over here right and it's zero over here so we really just have to start here and end here right and we're integrating over this 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 line right so we're starting at alpha x and ending at beta x right and that makes sense right because if if I look at just this integral, right, um, I can, you know, that's going to be a function of x, right? Uh, I mean, the, 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 the limits of the integral can still depend on x. And then over here, uh, I'm going to integrate that x away. So this, the, the final answer um, is just a number, right? It shouldn't be, you know, any function or anything. This should be just a number, right? Uh, you know, given a specific d and a specific f, you should just give me a number, as as the as you know, as the computation of what this is. Well, let's uh, let's let's look at an example. Um, let's suppose that we have uh, so d is uh, the region between. Let's do. Uh, uh, let's suppose it's between uh, x squared minus 1 and uh, 1 minus x squared. Yeah, why not? Right? And let's, uh, let's, integrate, uh, let's integrate something simple. Uh, let's integrate, um, let's do x, y squared dA, right, over d. And so the first thing to do, whenever you get something like this, is to draw it, right? You draw these these graphs, because otherwise, if you don't draw it, you, you, this is impossible to do without drawing. So, uh, if uh, let me try to do this, uh, 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 you know, uh, somewhat precisely. This maybe this is where the, the, the ones are on the uh, uh, on the axes, and so if if I draw the graph of this, it will be if I can draw a parabola. It will look like this, and this is going to be an inverted parabola, and it will look like this, right? So this 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 uh, region in the middle that's our D. Right. Okay. Uh, so that actually does look like a vertically simple region, right? Uh, you know, basically from you know, if I start anywhere uh, you know, and, and I integrate, uh, well, uh, if I integrate vertically, right? Uh, I start somewhere and end somewhere, and uh, it's it, it just goes. You know, I, I don't know if you skip some. Uh, some bits, right? Uh, and here, well, I notice that I start at x equals minus 1 and I go to 1, right? Because otherwise, uh, you know, I would be outside of my domain, right? So, so the domain, the, the only thing that's bounded by these guys is what's inside here, and so that is between minus 1 and 1, right? And to figure it out, I mean, you really have to draw this. Uh, it's impossible to do without drawing, right? And you can see that, that this is y is uh, uh, x squared minus 1. So that's that's where I'm starting, and this is y is 1 minus x squared, and that's where I'm ending, right? So this thing is going to be the integral from minus 1 to 1, uh, x uh, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> the integral from uh, so 
So I'm starting at the x squared minus 1, and I'm going to 1 minus x squared of x y squared. And uh, now it should be dy dx, right? All right, let's... Uh, um, uh, you know, let, 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 let's figure out what this is. Um, so I have minus 1 to 1, and then uh, I integrate this with respect to y. So I have x, y cubed over 3, and uh, y should be, ooh, uh, y should be from uh, x minus 1, 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, this is going to be a little, a uh, little nasty, maybe. Um, do, 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 do. So I will have um, x, um, and I have a, a cube. So uh, I'm starting, you know, uh, well, starting here. So I'm ending here. So one minus x squared divided by 3 minus uh, x times where I'm starting uh, cubed uh, 3 uh, x and that looks just uh, just really really annoying um, but uh, uh, well, let's, let's let's notice something um, this uh, this function is is odd right if I plug in if I switch the sign of X I just get minus this function right because if I switch the sign of X over here it, it doesn't really matter because it's X squared same thing here uh, and so I really have just X times something that's even something where the sign doesn't you know, nothing changes by switch this time. So this is this is odd. I'll I'll leave that up to you to, to, to double check it. If you replace uh if you replace uh uh minus uh like it's maybe even easier uh than that. I'm just noticing uh <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah no no that's 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 uh, that's the best I can do. Um all right so uh, that means that this is actually zero, right? Okay. So, well, that, that's just uh, doing an iterated uh, doing an iterated integral. Except um, over here, uh, the, the the limits now depend on x, right? So this is not so easy to write down as a as an integral of um, uh, you know, of, of of x inside and y outside, right? I mean, it's it's possible, uh, but um, but it's 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 more complicated. Let's not do this for for this uh, um, uh, for this region. Let's do uh, let, let's do another uh, another uh, 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 simple example. Let's suppose that I have. Um, the region uh, suppose that D is so uh, the X is positive Y is positive and um, uh, uh, and uh, let's see uh, let's say X squared plus Y squared is let's say equal to 1 right so what this is it's telling me I'm in a inside the circle that's that's this first one and these two that means this quarter of this the circle right and now let's uh, let's integrate over D let's integrate Y uh, just make it really really simple um, so what this is it's uh, well uh, this guy is vertically simple, right? Uh, I just need to figure out what uh, the, the bottom part is easy. Uh, 
where do I start, where do I end is easy, it's 0 to 1, bottom side is, uh, you know, when when y is 0, right, and so the, the, the trick is to figure out what is out here, this is where y is square root of 1 minus x squared, okay, so so how do we write this, this integral? Uh, well, we write it as uh, the x goes from 0 to 1, uh, and uh, y uh, goes from 0 to uh, square root of 1 minus x squared, right? And we're doing y uh, and uh, dy dx, all right? So uh, let's uh, uh, let's compute this. Uh, so um, we have still the zero to one integral, right? And over here we have uh, y squared over two and y that we're plugging in. So it's zero, and then we're plugging square root of one minus x squared. Uh, that's actually kind of convenient, isn't it? Uh, if, uh, if, well, if we plug in 0, it just gets 0. If we plug in the square root, the square root will disappear because we have the x squared, right? Uh, maybe that wasn't quite obvious when, uh, when we, um, had this, uh, come up here, but, yeah, hey, it, uh, it works. Uh, so, uh, 0 to 1, and then we have 1 minus x squared dx, right? And uh, I'll let you I'll let you work out uh, what uh, what this integral is. That's just calculus one, right? So let's not not worry about exactly what uh, what that is. All right, let's uh, let's suppose that now we have uh, something that's that's uh, you know nice horizontally, All right? So d is horizontally simple if uh, if uh, given by well so now we're gonna have uh, y be uh, between some a and some b and x is now between some functions of y right so this is uh, when uh, we have uh, uh, some region that sort of looks like this, where y, uh, maybe this is the, these are the axes, this is from A to B, right, that's where y is going, and x is going, this, this, this curve would be x is uh, where we're ending, so beta y, and this is x is alpha y. Right, and this is this uh, way of integration is when we were going horizontally. We started alpha, ended beta. Right. Uh, so how do we integrate? Well, we integrate as a, as I just said. Uh, we started to alpha, ended beta, just like before. Except now we're just flipping x and y. So this is now it's going to be still a to b, but now it's now it's the dy, right, and the dx is inside, and we're starting at alpha y and beta of y, and again, this this makes sense. I mean, what we're in, you know, what we're doing inside, uh, this cannot, of course, depend on 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 any uh, x, right, because uh, this is supposed to be I'm supposed to be able to integrate this and get just a function of y, right? It can depend. These guys can depend on y, right? So that makes sense. Over here, these guys shouldn't depend on either x and y. I should just get something that uh, gives me a number, right? I'll get uh, a function of y inside, right? Uh, <coughs> so, for example, let's uh, let's uh, set up this integral. I suppose that that uh, that uh, 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 you know. Uh, Suppose we have a, a, a triangle, so uh, but, uh, we're going to call it T because you know maybe D is not a good uh, name for 
for a triangle. Uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, let's look at the T triangle. Uh, uh, T is a triangle with uh, vertices. Uh, let's do one at uh, the origin. Uh, let's do uh, one at uh, let's put it at uh, two zero and uh, let's also do two uh, let's do three right why not right so how does that uh, how does that look maybe I can use these uh, these little boxes this is one uh, you know, second uh, uh, vertex and a third vertex is over here so this is my triangle T. Okay, and uh, these these lines are are easy to figure out. This line is of course where y equals zero. This line is where x equals two. This line may be a, a little bit a uh, uh, little bit harder to, uh, uh, to to figure out, but it's. Uh, it's basically it, it should be something with slope. Uh, it's three halves, right? So this this uh, this line is y equals uh, three halves x, right? Let's let's double check that it that really works. If I plug in uh, two three, uh, it should be on this on this on this line. Zero zero is clearly on here. If I plug in zero zero here, it is clearly satisfied. Let's uh, let's let's figure out if two three is satisfied. If I plug in three over here and two over here, then this is uh, three is equal to three halves times two. Yeah, that's that that is equal, right? So that's my you know that's how I describe these 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 guys. And let's uh, let's integrate. Let's uh, let's integrate x y on t, right? So. Let's do it uh, horizontally, simply, right? Let's uh, let's uh, go. So if if we do it horizontally, then we have to figure out where uh, y goes. So y goes between zero and uh, three, right? This is, this is at three, right? So zero to three. X goes while well, it goes between this line. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, um, it goes between this line and this line. Uh, so we have it in terms of y. Uh, so we can write it in terms of x, right? Uh, so this is, uh, uh, you know, basically <laughs> I can just, uh, in this case, it's very easy, right? I solve for x, right, just by dividing. It's 2 thirds y equals x, right? So. I start at x equals two thirds y. Maybe I'll put a parenthesis because uh, this is uh, uh, a common mistake that I see is if, if, if someone writes two thirds y, that the y will, uh, you know, it might seem like it goes with the three. And that's not true. And we're going all the way up to uh, x equals two, right? Uh, x, y. Uh, dx dy right and let's uh, let's uh, integrate that so we have uh, 0 to 3 doesn't change right uh, and inside the goes to x so you have x squared over 2 times y uh, and then going from um, x is uh, 2 thirds y to 2 right so the y, so that's uh, so zero to three, um, and oh, sorry, I don't want uh, this parentheses anymore. Uh, just regular parentheses will do. Uh, so I'm, I'm at two. So two squared divided by two uh, is two, right? So two y minus, and now I have. Oh, okay, two thirds squared. So, so two squared divided by two. That's again two. But then I have the the, the over three squared, right? So this, this is 
two nine right uh, uh, that is y squared times y so y cubed right dy okay um, and um, now well well we just uh, well let me just uh, <laughs> leave this to you this is uh, the calculus one integral uh, of polynomials so uh, left left to student right uh, just, uh, as, an, as an exercise in in calculus one now I want to keep with this example so let's uh, uh, let's 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 draw it uh, uh, as uh, um, uh, as a triangle uh, again let's draw this triangle like this right and this uh, this line over here was y equals three halves x right uh, so this was t right this was uh, x equals two and this was uh, y equals zero and uh, we were integrating over t x y dA right now we did it horizontally simple this guy is also vertically simple so we could just set up uh, the integral in the opposite way we could uh, we could start at x equals 0 go up to x equals 2 right and then we could start at y equals 0 and go up to 3 halves x right and just so that it's there's no confusion over here uh, x y d y dx okay uh, let's uh, let's compute the inside integral so the inside integral uh, doing it with respect to uh, with respect to y right that I did, uh, let me just double check that uh, we did uh, yeah. uh, just thought maybe I, I <laughs> did the last one incorrectly no no I did that correctly uh, so let's uh, let's do this uh, with respect to y right so we have uh, I'm gonna have x y squared over 2 right and y going from 0 to 3 halves x right uh, still dx right I'm supposed to get a, a, a function of x out here 0 to 2 uh, and now uh, well we have um, I plug in uh, 0 is nice uh, plugging in uh, 3 halves x is maybe a little a little harder but again not too much uh, so I will have uh, I'll then x cubed uh, because it's x times x squared right uh, and then I will have uh, uh, on top I will have 9 and on the bottom I will have 2 times 2 squared so I will have 8 so 9 8 uh, x cubed dx and again let me leave it um, uh, leave it up to the student to uh, to compute um, what this is now you will notice that uh, I have uh, this this integral and this integral happen to have been the same thing right they're both the integral of xy over t right so we do have uh, in particular that uh, to t, 2 0 to 3 half uh, x um, xy dy dx and we got that this is this is equal to uh, to this guy right so let me let me copy that uh, out here right 0 to 3 and uh, 2 thirds y to 2 x y dx dy 
All right. So what's the point? The point is uh, that uh, changing the order of integration when we have more complicated regions uh, is not so easy. Even if the the region is, uh, 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 you know, both vertically and horizontally simple, and I can easily write it down as a as a nice you know as a single integral, uh, iterated integral for both of them. Uh, it's maybe not completely obvious as to how to go from here to here, right? Or from here to here. If I want to do a change of the order of uh, uh, of integration, now you will notice that uh, the it's it was it's the same integral, right? It's the same integral over here. Um, over here, when I did this, I ended up with something slightly more complicated than than over here. Uh, well, uh, here maybe it wasn't that much of a big deal, uh, but yeah, this 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 was definitely it was definitely easier to to compute, uh, even if it's just slightly than this, right? In the end, you will get the same number, right? So it doesn't really matter which which way you do it. Now, it turns out that uh, uh, sometimes it's um, uh, you know doing the integral in one way uh, uh, it is uh, uh, is essentially impossible and you need to select the order of, of, of integration uh, to do it uh, to do it in the other way right uh, sometimes it's just that uh, you know one is easier sometimes they're both difficult ah, that's that's just uh, 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 it just depends on on what problem you have. Uh, so let's uh, let's do an example of this. So suppose that uh, I'll do something very simple. Let's let's call it something different than t. Uh, okay, let's let's do it d. D is uh, the triangle. Uh, the triangle uh, 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 between y-axis, uh, y equals x, and y equals 1. And uh, you want to eva uh, evaluate d uh, of, uh, of e to the y squared dA. Okay. Uh, well, let's draw this, uh, this this triangle. Right. Let's suppose that uh, let's not make it one one block because that would be way too small. Uh, we have the y-axis. Right. Uh, y equals one. Oh, sorry. Uh, y equals one. This this guy, and y equals x. This guy. Right. So it's. Uh, this uh, this triangle over here, right? So let's uh, let's first uh, do it. Um, let's first do it as a uh, vertically uh, simple integral. So we have uh, this is, this is going to be from zero to one. Uh, so from zero to one um, in in x and in y, I'm going to go from well, y is supposed to be whatever x is to 1, um, e to the y squared dy dx. And then you, say, you look at this and think about it for a while, and then you realize that uh, um, you have no clue how to anti-differentiate e to the y squared. And, there's, you know, and that's because there is no closed form uh, uh, and derivative in terms of uh, functions that you know, um, so it's it's hard to do it this way. So what you might want to do is do it in the opposite order, right? So uh, you you have something that this well here we have a, a region which is also horizontally simple. Oh, sorry, vertically, uh, horizontally simple. Before we had uh, vertically simple, now we have horizontally simple. Uh, so we could do um, we could do x inside and y outside. 
again it's from 0 to 1 right and now it starts at 0 and ends at uh, when uh, um, x is y right uh, e to the y squared dx dy okay uh, doesn't seem like f changed right but now this thing is as for the for the x integral uh, this is just a constant right uh, so the inside is just a, a, a integral from 0 to y of uh, uh, of e to the y squared right so this is uh, uh, um, so it's just uh, uh, y times e to the y squared. Okay. Ah. Well, now this I know how to do uh, because now we have uh, uh, let uh, let u be y squared, then du is two uh, y dy, right? So. Uh, you know, so I will have uh, I have y dy right so I have uh, one half zero to one uh, uh, yeah it is zero to one right if y is zero u is zero is y is one u is one uh, e to the u du right and e to the u the integer is, is is e to the u right so this is one half uh, e at 1 minus e at 0 which is 1 okay good okay so this is much easier to integrate than this which is essentially impossible without changing swapping the order of integration right now uh, you might have really started maybe maybe you didn't you know the problem might have said well compute what this is right and uh, and the the thing would be well you figure out what sort of region that is integrating over right you better you figure out that it's this integral and that you can write it this way so for that you need to draw uh, draw the triangle okay now let's uh, uh, let's see where where were we okay so maybe let's do one more one more example Suppose that I have, uh, let's do something slightly more uh, 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 complicated. And if you notice, it doesn't really matter what's inside. So let's swap the order of integration uh, uh, of this uh, um, of this integral. And it doesn't really matter what f is. Let's just swap the order of integration. All right. So so we have. So the, the thing is to draw, always draw this because otherwise you can't do it. I guarantee you cannot do this without drawing. Uh, so y goes, uh, uh, y is uh, somewhere in between 1 and 2, right? And um, so that's where y is. And uh, x is between, uh, so x is supposed to have, have to figure out what uh, you know uh, x starts at uh, 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 at uh, square root of um, square root of y uh, which is the same thing as uh, uh, you know that's that, that's going to be the uh, uh, the uh, x squared is uh, y right so it's it's this uh, if, if we draw the the problem but now you notice that we're only taking the positive so I'm I really worry about let me make sure that I'm uh, that I am yeah so uh, over here well it's uh, uh, my scale is, is a bit off um, because it's uh, you know over here as would have to be at uh, at uh, at uh, x equals two right so my scale is I guess one here <laughs> uh, I guess I drew my uh, uh, my 
uh, parabola to to wide. Um, so it, this is saying right that for each y we're starting at the square root of y, which is over here, and we're going up to two, right? And so you notice that it is this uh, uh, this region over here, right? Uh, where this this curve is is again, this curve is either x equals square root of y or x squared equals y, right? And so now to to change the order of integration, well, we have to uh, uh, we have to uh, uh, figure out. Uh, what the limits are, but uh, what's inside, we can immediately write down, right? Uh, we're gonna go um, uh, let's see right, so uh, First, let's figure out what x goes over. Right, so this point uh, is at one. Right, that's 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 where this line and this uh, parabola intersect. Right, so it's at the point one one. It doesn't look like one one just because the way I drew my scale. Uh, so, but this is the point one one. Uh, so we're starting at uh, x equals one, ending at x equals two. All right, and uh, then we have to go like this, right? We have to go vertically, right? For each x, we do a vertical integral. So we're starting at one, and we're ending at something in terms of uh, you know where is is y in terms of x squared, right? Looks like this x squared. So that's what it is, right? So if we have this iterated integral, it's uh, uh, you know the change of area or change of order uh, is, is is this guy, okay? And you really have to draw a picture. It's impossible to do without drawing a picture. Now, a couple of uh, um, a couple of final things. Uh, if we uh, uh, if we know something about um, uh, about f, we can sometimes uh, uh, we can sometimes estimate uh, the 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 uh, the integral, and sometimes it's you know sometimes all that we worry about is some sort of estimation. So the simplest uh, thing is is if um, if on d uh, f of x y is always between some little n and some big n then uh, what we have is uh, that little n times the area of uh, of d is uh, a lower bound on this integral and uh, And capital N times area of D is the upper bound. How does it work? Uh, let's look at an example. Suppose that uh, f of x, y uh, uh, is uh, x squared plus y plus 12, right? And let's suppose that uh, D uh, is, uh, is given by, let's say maybe, let's say it's a rectangle just for simplicity, right? Then, uh, if we take the integral over d of x squared plus y plus 12, and maybe we don't want to, I mean, that's one we could easily do, but maybe we don't really want to do this integral. We're just interested in, in sort of uh, the best, uh, well, maybe not the best, but the, the, you know, a simple estimate. Um, uh, so, uh, we'll note that. Uh, uh, here it's it's really easy to maximize and minimize you know to, to figure out what the maximum minimum is uh, over this d right 
uh, the, the minimum is, uh, is going to be when, when x is 0 and y is negative 1, right? Uh, just by inspection, right? So uh, we definitely have, uh, so that's that 0, negative 1, so it's, uh, uh, you know, it's not going to be any bigger than 11. You can double check on this. And similarly, it's not going to be any bigger, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, it's not going to be any smaller than 11. Uh, and it's not going to be any bigger than, well, this, the biggest, these, these, both of these can be 1, right? So, so it's, uh, it's the biggest it's going to be on this region, on this, on this box, right? This is this box that uh, goes between uh, minus 1 and 1 in both x and y. Uh, so we have this. So what this estimate tells us is that uh, this is uh, 11 times the area, uh, well, the, the, you know, the, the, the sides are both uh, of length 2, so um, it's 11 uh, so times 4, so 44, whatever it is, it's at least 44, and it's at most 14 times 2 squared, um, and 14 times 2 squared, well, it's uh, 14 times 4, uh, oh, that's, that's too complicated, no, is it, is it? Uh, so, sure, sure, sure. So it's uh, uh, three times four, six, twelve, uh, fifty-six. Is that time? Uh, it's just it's just some arithmetic, right? Um, you know, you don't become a mathematician because you know how to do arithmetic. Um, anyway, so it's uh, it's something like this. Well, I have, uh, you know, that was actually pretty simple without doing any computation, right? Uh, let's do maybe a, a, a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more complicated uh, example of, of a similar idea. So if, uh, if f of xy is always less than g of xy on d, then the integral of f is less than equal to the integral of g. All right, and we can use this uh, uh, to actually get. Uh, uh, that, that's essentially what, what we're using here, using a constant uh, for for g or f. Uh, so we can, uh, for example, suppose that I have uh, d is. Uh, let's do something really simple. Uh, let's do an even simpler box, right? And let's let's try to integrate over d sine of uh, of x squared y squared. Uh, and maybe maybe we don't care uh, uh, of the lower bound. Maybe we want to make sure it's not bigger than something, right? And uh, uh, this, is, this is gonna be hard to integrate. I mean, it's it's uh, there's no analytic way of, of integrating this over this 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 region. Uh, but uh, maybe we don't really care exactly what it is. Um, but uh, notice that on this on this region we have that. Uh, 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 well, we actually have you know whenever let me write it more generally. Uh, uh, let, let's uh, let's write it with uh, theta. If uh, if theta is bigger than zero, we always get that sine is less than or equal to theta. It's actually something that's that's used quite a bit in applications. And so uh, uh, over here we'll get uh, the integral over d of uh, well x squared y squared uh, it's on this d actually anywhere uh, it's positive so I can just replace this with x squared y squared d uh, a and uh, uh, now this is a rectangle there's a 
a, a, a function of uh, you know product of two functions. So if you remember from from before, we can compute uh, this like this. Uh, uh, y squared dy, right? And over here, each one of these is one third, so it's one third, so this is, this is one ninth, right? So I know that whatever this is, it's no bigger than one ninth. That's actually a, a fairly reasonable estimate, it turns out, of, of, of what this is. It's not one ninth, but it's no bigger than one ninth. Uh, Right, I mean, you know, maybe we say, well, it's no bigger than a million or something, but uh, but maybe we need a, a a better estimate than that. One nine is actually pretty good, okay, and it was much easier to compute than to numerically estimate uh, this integral. Now, finally, and I'll just uh, I'll just say, say this very briefly. Uh, uh, you know, if if you have a more complicated region, uh, so maybe. Uh, maybe let's suppose that, that uh, uh, let's describe the region as um, y is bigger than or equal to x, uh, uh, y is bigger than or equal to minus x, and y is equal to minus x squared plus 1. If I draw this, this region, I'm going to draw it slightly bigger. This is y equals x. This is y equals minus x, and then this guy is a, uh, an inverted uh, parabola uh, going through uh, zero one. So uh, it, it should be it should look symmetric, but uh, anyway, it's this this region, um, and it's it's actually a little bit uh, hard to describe it using uh, using. Uh, just two functions, right? Because well, we really have one function here, one function here, one function here. But uh, uh, you, you know, horizontally or vertically, it's um, yeah, it, it's it's hard to hard to describe. But uh, you know, the the thing is, is that you split it up. You you, you call this guy d one, this guy d two, and uh, so if if d is the whole thing, it turns out the integral over d is the integral over d1 plus the integral over d2. It's the same as as it was in, in one variable. If I split up my region into several regions, I can just add them together and, uh, and integrate each one separately. So if I have a, a very complicated region uh, I can cut it up into uh, pieces. This is actually not that complicated, uh, but uh, I could have something something much more complicated. Uh, and uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe I have uh, you know maybe some region like this, right? Um, and that's that that might be much more complicated, right? But uh, I could cut it up into two regions, maybe this one and this one, right? Uh, and there's other ways to cut it up, right? Uh, or maybe I, uh, maybe even even more, you know, maybe maybe I have this washer, right? It's neither horizontally nor vertically simple, but maybe I can cut it up into a bunch of, uh, you know, I could cut it up into, and I have one, two, three, four different uh, regions. I just have to compute four different integrals, sum them together, and I have a result. Okay. Well, maybe it's, it, it gets uh, tedious, but uh, well. That's just what it is. All right.